like to welcome you to Harmonic Mechanism for the Mind number 36. We're going to look at a little phrase transformation here and just some ideas that might give you some inspiration or start you on writing something of your own. If you're interested, I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music as always. So we're going to have one little fingering mechanism. Here I'll start it in a really consonant kind of place. So it's going to be first and fourth fingers on the fifth and second strings. So in this case, second fret, fourth fret. So we're using the outer two fingers. Coming down to the second finger on the second fret. So it's going to be a span of two frets, then across from one another. Then we're going to reach out with a little finger to the third string, fourth fret, or two frets higher. And then we're going to have open second string. And the idea is we're going to take this through the register of the guitar and see what we find. And I'm going to suggest two other little transformations. This is one way of working if you're looking to generate material, something that you like. So if we have, again, frets, two, four, two, four, open, second. So it's always going to be that. It's going to be five and two, two, three, open, second string. So what if we take this note on the third string and lower it a half step. Now we have four and two, two, three on the third string and open. But I'd suggest you look less at the frets and more at what the fingering mechanism is. So it's a fairly nice consonant phrase. establishes the key of B with that note right there, makes our ear hear it as key of B. What if we lower this note down? Now we get some kind of mixed Lydian sound. Sounds like we're in the, like we're in the key of E. So what I've done then, so we have two and four, two, two, open. So I'm either going two higher, one higher, or adjacent with that middle note. And that's going to make a lot of variation possible. So if you have that fingering mechanism, let's try it out. Let's say fifth fret. So five and seven, we're two frets apart. So we get surprise of that open B string at the end is ringing. What if we lower the note on the middle string? Pretty nice. What if we lower the note on the middle string once again? instantly makes me want to write something. And I start to look for gestures or it's a feeling of melodic follow-through. So I'm just looking for a gesture that melodically hooks up and hooks up in terms of phrase. So there's a compound. I use the middle and the adjacent. So let's go systematically and just see what strikes our ear and what these things suggest, at least to me. I'll try to share my thoughts and process. 
So here we are, first and third fret, two frets apart. So since we have B flat, that open B note is really incongruous. But it might be. Might be the kind of thing if you want a kind of ragtime. I don't know. It could work. It's a passing. So now I'm lowering the middle note. That B is still really out there. So these kinds of things, here I'm doing the adjacent one down here. One and three, one, one, open. So this automatically makes me feel a kind of atemporal, no tempo, no time. something could happen. How about... That was using this one at the fourth fret. That's using two of them in a row. So we've already done this one. How about third fret? This is going to be pretty tonal. Lydian to me. Lydian being a major scale system with a sharp four. So in this case in C. If we put that F sharp in there, we get that brightness. cakewalk. Something. I'm just playing. I don't know. It occurs to me to take that note, uh, the middle one. for me. Here's fourth fret. That's two away. About one away. So it gets into something outside pretty quick. With half step C and B. If we go adjacent, we're just doubling that B. So we did D. This one will be pretty outside because we have E flat and we're gonna try to include that B note. Seventh fret. Very uh, very E major. So this is seven and nine. E mixed Lydian. eight and ten. So now we're getting high enough that this first note and that B are pretty far apart so it's hard to integrate them but how about the middle? Tense. How about adjacent? So 
whole tone kind of sound. something I tried to put the open E in there How about adjacent sounds like it's going on a journey somewhere how about tenth fret so it's trying very hard to be G major be a little jarring in this register with having an octave. Now you saw me pull my B string there because it was a little sharp in this when I'm playing this sound. It was a little sharp so I pulled the tension out rather than using the peg. We'll do a couple more. So now that B is really low. It would be some kind of a free tonality phrase. How about adjacent? Nothing much for me. How about... Nope. Delicate up here, 12th fret and 14, 12 and 14. That's the middle. When I say middle, I mean the middle of these three that we're changing on the third string. Now that was, I just filed my saddle down so I loosened all my strings and now it's having to readjust. So this is kind of nice up here, 12 and 14. How about adjacent? Kind of A7-ish. interest not too long-winded it's a little exploration this is how I write things so this would have been uh, just something I hit upon just writing moving around playing the guitar is what it is folks as always I wish you a very very good day